Folks, we're back for round two of the Olympia service checks and rebuild video. And I'm just going to kind of focus on the Olympia because there's so much that you can find broken and incorrect with a typewriter. I'm not going to really go into how to observationally check operations on every typewriter system in the, in the typewriter. But in order to repair a typewriter, if you are getting into typewriter repair, you have you you got to know how a typewriter works. You can't fix something if you do not know how it works. That is just the bottom line. I, I mean, I'm I'm just gonna put it put it out there bluntly. You can't just be like I'm trying to fix my typewriter, but it's it's not fixing itself that that just doesn't it doesn't it doesn't work like that um, if you know that the olympia machines have a carriage lock that lock the keys up then you can flip the carriage off and now your, your typewriter works so there's a, a lot of basic functionality things that you need to have in your in your grasp before you can actually get into fixing typewriters uh, it, it, it's a very involved process and a self journey to, to want to learn how to do these because there's no other schooling. There's, it's all just us helping each other <clears throat> or us helping ourselves. And that's observation and experimentation and, and trying things out. So on that note, <clears throat> guys, when you, when you get into typewriters and typewriter repair, familiar, familiarize yourself with the machines that you are planning to work on. And if that means getting a broken machine and starting to tinker around with it, then, then by all means, go for it and look up information. There's tons of videos online of how to do things. And you're going to break stuff. You're going to bend stuff wrong. You're going to unscrew stuff that you can't put back together. That's just the nature of how experimentation with mechanical systems works. If you don't have formal knowledge or formal training, you're, you're just going to have to get your hands dirty and, and hope you don't totally destroy things and there's going to be times that you do totally destroy things it's just the way it is i've got a, a stack of <clears throat> my oops pile in in the storage where i just either i bit off more than i can chew or i didn't know what to do and it can be frustrating at times because when you're the only one in the world working on a certain problem on a certain machine it's it's kind of a lonely lonely task you're, you're you're kind of reaching out there for help in the void and nobody's answering your questions but there, there's a good chance that you're the only one at this particular moment in time that is doing the thing that you are doing and, and when there's nobody out there that's doing it with you you're, you're kind of on your own that being said guys uh, operational checks on the typewriter you're going to have to go through and, and look at systems if you if you know that your typewriter ribbon isn't advancing then you are going to have to understand how the typewriter advance system works and what parts do what when you do certain things like when you push the, when you pull the trigger why does it do it it's the how and the why of engineering you have to get into in order to fix a mistake in a mechanical system because it's not going to tell it's not going to tell you what's wrong you're going to have to observationally understand what each individual component does in relation to each other in order to make that system work and that is just kind of a brief rundown of mechanics in general and it takes a lifetime i'm, I'm still young and, and I, it's still it's a lifetime of learning how to do things but soak up as much information as you can visualize systems the, the best you can and you're really going to have to get in there to see how things work like when you flip this lock lever <clears throat> to lock the carriage it locks the keys so this this little thing is locking the keys from going it's kind of it's kind of like how when you run out of typewriter space the line lock works so the line lock system on this typewriter is connected to the carriage lock and on the back of the machine after the bell you know that after the bell comes the line lock so there's your after the bell what happens well it, it touches this and it pushes this to the to the left 
And once that pushes to the left, it looks like it wiggles that thing. Okay, so now that, now the keys aren't working. So we know that when this thing gets pushed over to the left, wherever it's going, it's moving that little thing and that's stopping the keys from going. Because when you pull it over to this way, the keys work just fine. So now you, it's your job to look at this system completely underneath the machine, behind the machine, around the machine, all of the levers and links and springs that connect to it. And you're looking for things out of place. It's very helpful to have a partner machine so you can mirror it and look for things that are uh, spot the difference. <laughs> you got to see what is missing, what is different. A lot of times typewriters are butterflied, so a lot of the stuff that happens on one side happens to the other. So if you're looking at this typewriter and, and you know that one side is working, but the other side isn't, you can kind of start going back and forth and looking to see which is which is which. But that is just my rundown on operational checks and, and functionality checks and observations. And you've got to have that ability to work on a typewriter uh, or else you're just going to be, you're just going to be staring at, at a blank canvas. So this video is just going to be a, like a disclaimer of how to clean your machine. No, we already, we already have videos on how to clean your machine. <clears throat> this is just about getting yourself prepared for working on a typewriter. And then we will go into other things like what these actually do on this Olympia machine. But I don't want it to be like a, dr a droning video of just nothingness. So we will pick our battles and we will go from there.